One evening, I met with a group of Syrian bloggers. A year ago, they say, there were only about a dozen bloggers in the country. But now there is well over 100 and growing. We got some more freedom than we used to. I mean, we now we can express ourselves online a lot more than before. I mean, it's not about the government, what the government wants us to know anymore. It also Real gave freedom. us the choice to, to look at different sources and different point of views because over here for a long time they only had one point of view but with the internet and the satellite TV we got to see different point of views we got to learn and quite surprising in Syria they spoke openly about their desire for reform we believe in democracy I know it's coming away maybe it's going to come peacefully or maybe we we'll have to make some uh, say sacrifices but it's coming and I think even the government here is willing to take some small steps Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not the, as fast as we want, but yeah. it's, it's, at least it's taking steps. But mm -hmm. definitely it's not coming on, on American time. Yeah, of yeah. course. That's I know you won't and, accept and, it. And like, uh, Iraqis didn't fight the Americans at the beginning because, as I said, they wanted to get out of Saddam Hussein, and things are not the same in Syria. Can I speak to the camera? <laughs> 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 Audience in the US. We are normal people. We all go to dance. Uh, have, have, have our own dances, and uh, we, some of us listen to rock music as I do, and we are we have open-minded and close-minded people. We are normal people. We are we don't have camels to park near our homes. <laughs> <laughs> we go to school. Yes. We have cars. And we have electricity. And we have electricity. Yeah, we have electricity. In also. Buildings. And internet. <laughs>